So there's a scene in Ant-Man, which Michael Douglas does this thing where he's like, okay, there's this kind of ant and this kind of ant, and this ant's gonna build a bridge for you, and this ant stings really hard, right? Like they all have kind of their own superpower. But the bridge building ants, that's for real. Um, fire ants can act like either a fluid or a solid, but they can basically pour themselves out like a liquid or spring back when something presses down on them. Now it's not one fire ant shifting back and forth between states, it's a, a whole colony of them. The reason why they have this ability is they have to cope with periodic downpours in their natural environment, so they evolved the ability to clump together into structures. And they found out that these fire ants can flow and move around as a group, acting like, like thick fluid, right, or, or, or like rubber in some instances. And yes, they construct bridges to get across gaps in the same way that you see them do this in the, in the movie. Uh, they can also quickly repair any damage to the structure they create, right? So like, let's say they make a bridge and like a rock falls and it kills like 10 of the ants. Well, the other ants are all, they're all gonna uh, sense this and reinforce the living structure and move in. They also pull closer to each other and tighten their grip to fill in holes, make sure that the structure holds together. If you drop a penny into a, quote, ocean of ants, they absorb the impact of the penny dropping by catching it and then slowly lowering it to the bottom of whatever they're in. Uh, and these live ants will even let go and behave like they're dead in some instances so they can help decrease the viscosity of the overall ant structure and allow it to have more of a liquid flow to it. So that part of the science, bridge building ants, yeah, for real. <laughs>